Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Plus, and welcome back to episode 13 of Universe Mode as we are officially under two weeks away for the Unforgiven pay-per-view coming your way live May 12th here on the YouTube channel, but we are going international, baby, as we are going to Unforgiven San Juan, Puerto Rico. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is how the bracket stands. Punk is already in the finals, but the big question that everybody has in their mind in the main event, who's going to the finals? Will it be Roman Reigns or... Will it be Adam Cole? Everybody wants to know. Both men have such great opportunities and great, great resumes, especially here in Universe Mode history. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see who walks away with the win, how they get it done, and all of that in the third. But ladies and gentlemen, starting us off here tonight, it was advertised on the YouTube channel last week as Trick Williams will be going one-on-one. -on -one with the man himself, Braun Breaker, Trick Williams, he is semi-new here in Universe Mode, making his debut six months ago here in Universe Mode, and ever since then, I gotta argue, Trick Williams has done his big one, he's done his thing, he, he carries himself like a champion, and he isn't even a champion yet, now what do I mean by that, now every time we see Trick Williams and Cedric Alexander in the ring, me personally, they give me tag team champion feels, that might be from season one of Universe Mode, if you guys know me, I've been very, very high on the Hurt Business for quite some time now but it's up to them here in universe mode we don't just hand out opportunities we put them in place for people to earn them and so far the hurt business have been you know they've been yet to earn an opportunity what i love to see it hell yeah i mean you look at the star power that this team has the almighty bobby lashley cedric alexander and the man himself trick williams i mean come on this is going to be an absolute banger here tonight as Trick Williams is wrestling his fourth match here in Universe Mode history as he is going against Braun Breaker. This man, this man, oh this man, I mean how, how can I talk about it? How do, how do I describe this man in words? How do I call him a man in a sentence because the monster is more like it? He is Braun Breaker and ever since arriving here on the scene at the draft he has been on an absolute collision course. He has been dominating like never before, doing any and everything to make people understand that he is next in line, that he is next up. And I got to be honest, he has been doing a damn good job at uh, keeping up that point as everybody has been saying the name Braun Breaker. As we know, Braun Breaker has uh, you know been on the scene here in Universe Mode quite a little bit. We've seen a couple of weeks ago, Braun Breaker and Jacob Fatu had some interesting backstage uh, interactions, but as it seems like Jacob Fatu was going his way with the bloodline and Braun Breaker is going back to climbing up the ranks. And that's got to be something right there that I got to say again that I respect. Breaker doing it the hard way, not going right after a champion, not looking for an easy end. He is looking to earn his way to the top. And since arriving, well, I got to argue that's what he's been doing. But ladies and gentlemen, this action will be up next. Coming up in two weeks' time, we have the Unforgiven pay-per-view finally coming you guys' way as we will be setting the bright lights and grand stages right on WWE 2K24 as the Usos are going to be putting their World Tag Team Championships on the line for the first time here in Season 2 as they go 2-on-2. Two -two. But a team that they know all too well, it is going to be a WrestleMania Season 1 rematch when the Usos take on the LWO. Can Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wild get the job done and rid the titles from the bloodline before their reign can have its terror once again. Find out at Unforgiven. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial break, and this one gets underway as, oh, man, you see there, Trick Williams already firing away on all cylinders. The Braun Breaker, Breaker, not even, not even wasting the referee's time, getting right back up off of that. Beautiful work there by Braun Breaker. And again, you want to talk about the, the strides that Braun Breaker has tried to take here in Universe Mode, going after the likes of the Bloodline, understanding that, you know, he may be uh, miles away from that. And, and that's okay. Listen, if I'm a new superstar rising in on the roster, I'm not going right after one of those top teams, especially with the momentum that they hold here in Universe Mode. I'm taking my time understanding the roster because this roster is deep. It's depth. There's so much depth in this roster. I mean, you see a guy like Trick Williams at this, you know, you you can argue that he's right now same level as Braun Breaker, and this guy's been here six months. So, you know, things take a, a bit of a turn for your career here in Universe Mode depending on your wins and losses as they do matter. But as a reminder, as you see on the bottom hand of the screen later on tonight, it will be tag action. Beautiful flapjack there by Trick Williams. It will be tag action as Will Ospreay and Cody Rhodes will be teaming up to take on the likes of the Shields. 
Claudio Castanoli and Wheeler Yuta. That one's going to be an absolute banger. And oh man, Trick Williams taking down Braun Breaker. And now, now looking to stay on the attack as Trick Williams is giving Braun Breaker a lot more offense. As you see, that's what's going down right here, right now. Trick Willie, Braun Breaker, and Williams. Oh man, another stomp there by Trick Williams. Man, oh man, Williams looking to do some more damage. And oh, once again, working on the arm. And just another reminder for you guys, Raw and Mayhem at the beach are going to come your way June 3rd and June 7th. They're going to be uh, our 30-minute events, just like the Raw Anniversary event similarly was. Into the cover off the splash. One, two, and no. Wow, I think for the first time here in Universe Mode, we're actually seeing Braun Breaker go through a bit of hard times. We haven't seen Braun Breaker get pushed a little bit here in Universe Mode. I mean, I wouldn't say pushed to his limit. Breaker seems like he has a bit left in the tank. Pop of Uranagi, beautifully done by Trick Willie. As Williams is looking to make a oh, bit of a statement for his own here tonight. Looking to do what he has to do here tonight. To show the, uh, uh, not only Adam Pierce, not only the champions here on the roster, but to show Adam Pierce, the general manager, that you know he, he's ready to step up. He's ready to move on to bigger and better. And oh man! Breaker catching him out of nowhere with that devastating spear. Referee on the count of eight. And Breaker going back in the ring and laughing at Trick Williams as Williams finds his way to his feet. But at no avail. I mean, that right there was uh, taken right out the back pocket, if you if you ask me. I feel like Trick Williams was kind of giving Braun Breaker a bit of a run for his money in this one. You see Braun Breaker a little hurt. You know, I got I can't argue. Trick Williams definitely, I, I, I would argue, might have pushed Braun Breaker a bit. That back pocket spear came out of nowhere, and it helped him the way it needed to help him. Because if you ask me, it wasn't going to get done the way it needed to. If it was up to Breaker, holy shit. Bobby Lashley just speared Braun Breaker. Lashley just showed Breaker a spear of his own. What the hell did we just see? So the boss man Pierce just let me know that King of the Ring rules apply even in a matchup this important. And I told him that no matter what happens tonight, I am not going to get screwed. So my boys will be right here waiting for anything to go down. And, well, I'm hoping that's true. I know you guys have had my back before, but tonight's important, Roddy. Cole, Cole, listen. You don't got to tell me how important tonight is. Me and Bobby, we're ready to go. The minute you snap your fingers, the minute we even get a look, the minute the air smells like the bloodline, we're coming down to the ring. We don't give a damn about King of the Ring rules. As long as you walk out tonight, that is all that matters. And I'm not talking walk out any way other than winner when it comes to the undisputed era we are going to be dripping in gold and it all starts with that wwe championship i believe in you bobby believes in you and kyle's at home and you know he believes in you let's get shit done well, as Adam Cole and Roderick Strong continue to do what they have to do to gear up for tonight being one of the most important nights of Adam Cole's career, if you ask me, as Adam Cole has to excel to that next step in his career by going one-on-one -on -one with the Tribal Chief, a man who was also on a path of vengeance, a war path, some may say, and that man is Roman Reigns, who was walking away, going to the main event of Unforgiven to face CM Punk for the WWE Championship. It all goes down here tonight. Pierce, what the hell was that? Huh, I go out there and I do what I do and your talent, your talent, your house isn't in order. So you know what, I'll do it for you. I'll put your house in order for you next week. I want to be a part of Raw Go Home Show and I want to go against the almighty Bobby Lashley. It's time for the out with the old and the in with the new. And it seems like Lashley has a bit of an ego. And I'm going to need to knock him down to size. So give me what I want. You know what? I like this fire. This is exactly why I signed you to Raw. So you know what? This is exactly what we're going to do. Braun Breaker versus Bobby Lashley next week. Raw Go Home Show in Chicago. And guess what? The Hurt Business, they're going to be banned from ringside. It's going to be two Goliaths going at it. Don't let us down. You asked for this. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we are now getting back to you guys out here, they are on the grand stage of Raw. One hell of an episode that has already been, but coming up next, we're getting right into the nitty gritty. It is tag team action as Will Ospreay and Claudio Castanoli of the Shield will be going against the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and Will Ospreay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take you guys back to how this all got started over three weeks ago. This all started between the two, and it all started with Will Ospreay just trying to step up and, and create a different path for his career. But ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to explain it. We're going to show you. I was given an opportunity to come out here and really reflect. Reflect on what happened last week. Big super kick by CM Punk. He is turning it up here tonight for Will Ospreay. Is he going to do it? He has him up. Go to sleep. Reflect on what happened at WrestleMania. Shift. Into the cover! One, two, Moxley does it! I was gonna turn the world into something that it's never seen before and flip professional wrestling on its head, but let's be honest, what am I really doing here? It's a question that a lot of us ask here in our career. It's a question that a lot of people find answers in, but to be quite frank, I'm kind of at a blank. Next week, I'm pressing that refresh button for Will Ospreay, because next week, I find myself and a match to open Raw with a 20 minute time limit. I find myself in a match with Seth freaking Rollins. Get him right off of the ropes, ducking over, popping through. This is exactly what you wanna see! Spanish fly! One, two, no! As Osprey looks to turn it around, but Rollins catching him, and oh! Just throwing those those needles feet right into the face of Will Ospreay. Big drop kick knocking Ospreay to the outside of the ring. And oh man, Hardy's making him do! Pedigree on the other side, on the outside! You don't want to spar! You do not want to spar with the aerial assassin! Ospreay wants it! Can he do it? Storm up! Breaker! Into the cover! Osprey gets the momentum back! And this is where the story begins. Hey, hey, Osprey. Listen, man, before you leave, I gotta say something. Me and you just went out there and we, we really tore the house down. And I gotta say, even though I lost, it's, it was an honor to go out there and fight you. I, I almost forgot what it felt like to wrestle and just really feel it. You brought that back for me. You really, you really made me feel wrestling tonight. So on the behalf of me and The Shield here on Raw, there's no problems. We're giving respect now to our opponents? That's not you, Seth. That's not you, and we both know it. I don't know what the hell has gotten into you. Moxley being gone for a couple of weeks, it's putting a strain on all of us. But next week, I go into the biggest match of my career. I go against a guy who a lot of us in the Shield couldn't beat, and I'm trying to change that. But I can't do that with you giving respect to our opponents. That is not the way the Shield has ran before, and it's not going to be the way it starts now. Make it right next week, Seth. Make it right for the shield. Boys, I hate to interrupt, but we have a message from the shield. I don't think you're gonna like this. What the hell, Rollins? I thought we were cool. What the hell's wrong with you? Orlando, Florida, what do you want to talk about? I mean, I got a feeling that everybody knows what I want to talk about, but genuinely, what do you want to talk about? There is so much going on in professional wrestling today. I mean, two weeks ago, we seen an amazing match between Will Ospreay and Seth Rollins. Later that night, we seen the respect be given between the two. I'm not letting you fight them alone. 
I'm not letting you go into this battle alone and it's not for you, it's not for pity, it's not for me, it's for the actual meaning of justice. You bet your ass I want your help, bro. Osprey's gonna take the help of Cody Rhodes, but wow! What? Oh, what the hell's going on? Oh my god! The lights go off and they come back on and the shield is coming right after Cody Rhodes you and Will You wanna talk Osprey. truth? Let's talk truth. Moxley left. Brian left. Seth Rollins is on a journey trying to figure out who the hell he is and Will Ospreay's without a teacher. And I'm the only man who stepped up. I'm the only man that decided to do what the hell I have to do to make sure that Raw stays Raw. We stay gritty. We stay the best. And the shield stays on top. Because one year ago, we were in a war. No championships, no main event spotlight, a war with blood. A war that we sat back and dominated to the very end. And if you think for a second just because Moxley decided to win a championship and leave, and because Brian forgot what brotherhood meant, that's not me. That's not the Swiss Superman. That is not Claudio Castanoli. And whether I am a three man or a one man going into next week, me and Will Ayuda are gonna do to you what we should have did to you in the middle of the ring last week. And that is end your careers. Because you both are nothing more than hype men. And I am sick and tired of the hype. Well, all right, we are back out here and we are ready to go. As you all know, the crowd has been anticipating this one all goddamn night. And it's your second bout here tonight as Will Ospreay will be teaming up with our first World Heavyweight Champion in Universe Mode history in Cody Rhodes. This one, this one is going to be fun. This one is going to be chaotic. This one is going to be personal well hey you seen how all this went down i don't want i don't need to i would love to but i don't need to sit down and break it down you seen how it goes down now we live in the moment we get excited for what's to come next and what's to come next is an absolute classic between four gentlemen looking to really make a statement two teams who have something to prove Claudio Castanoli feeling like he needs to keep the Shield's name alive. And with that comes dominance, comes aggressive, comes justice. And with Will Ospreay, this is a man who wants to continue to put on banger after banger. But this is a man who wants to further his career and go back after World's Heavyweight Championship gold. Well, ladies and gentlemen, although it might take him a bit longer to get there, the WWE Championship is here, and it is a lot more grass, or it is a lot more easier to obtain for Will Ospreay as it is on the same brand as him. Ospreay has been living, you know, for the last couple of weeks he has been living in his failures, but but now, tonight, teaming up with Cody Rhodes on Raw, this right here is what does things for your career in a universe mode. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as the crowd peaks, because we all know who the hell this man is. He is the man who I would argue carried, I said it, carried universe mode for half the year. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it is your first world heavyweight champion, the American Nightmare. I can argue it, one of the pillars of universe mode history, Cody. Rhodes! Tonight, Rhodes is here to lend the helping hand to Will Ospreay because he had nothing to do with this beef. This is Ospreay beef. But Cody Rhodes training Will Ospreay got caught in the crossfire. And if we know Cody Rhodes, he is not the kind of guy to get attacked and to stay and take it laying down. Cody stands up for what he believes in and he believes in Will Ospreay. Do you 
believe in Will Ospreay? Well, we are going to find out here tonight. There are definitely some Ospreay haters out there. Some people that feel like Ospreay is afraid of the grind. Well, Ospreay has set out his sights on that exactly. The grind. Not easy access to the top. Not an easy shot straight to glory. He is looking to get to the nitty. To get to the gritty and wrestle his heart out every single week if he has to. And having a man like this behind your back, a complete juggernaut in Cody Rhodes. It is absolutely beautiful to see, especially with how much these men's careers mirror each other. Especially said it before and I'll say it again with these two men's careers mirroring each other and, and, and having the blossom that it does but to switch focus here Claudio Castanoli and Wheeler Yuta Yuta hasn't had much luck here in season three at Universe Mode taking a loss a couple of weeks ago to Braun Breaker and you know Claudio Castanoli putting on well the, right now as voted by you guys the best match in the King of the Ring tournament being Claudio Castanoli versus Roman Reigns the only match in the tournament that had to go and get restarted that's how intense and crazy the match was. And only Claudio Castanoli did it. Proving that he is our Swiss Superman. And tonight, he's giving young Yuta a taste at Will Ospreay. As this is how it's going down. Very interesting start, as I may say. As Will Ospreay and Will Yuta starting us off here. Ospreay and Yuta both getting a good hit in. Oh! Ospreay just closing Yuta up like a goddamn briefcase. I mean, come on. You see this right here, you get concerned for Osprey's opponents. When you talk about Will Osprey, he's one of the most hard-hitting athletic, athletic excuse me, superstars you will ever see inside the wrestling squared circle. So when you talk about a guy like Will Osprey, when you talk about a guy like Cody Rhodes, I think of mega powers. All right, I think of two stars, absolute stars on the cusp, on the grind, looking to do what they have to do. And when you're going against the shield, although it is no easy task, it is a task that could or that can get done. But ladies and gentlemen, you see here Wheeler Yuta. Oh, kick to the back there by Will Ospreay to Wheeler Yuta. Claudio Castanoli trying to cheer on Wheeler Yuta on the outside, trying to trying to tell him, hey, listen, get back in this one. And now the legal man Cody Rhodes is in the ring. Yuta lays Cody out with a swift kick to the face. First time we're seeing Cody in action since the uh, King of the Ring matchup, his second matchup or the second match here in the tournament. As Cody Rhodes put on an absolute banger against LA Knight. Did lose his round one match to a lot of people's surprise. As this was the first year that Cody Rhodes did compete inside the King of the Ring. A little bit of a shorter King of the Ring this year. But that's because it was uh, dedicated towards the top guys. Main event talent. So we can get a new WWE Champion. Which will be crowned at the Unforgiven pay-per-view. Big question on everybody's mind is will it be CM Punk? Or will it be either the winners of tonight and Adam Cole and Roman Reigns? Whoever wins tonight goes on the Unforgiven, taking place in two weeks' time. It's crazy to even think about the fact that we are there. And look at this now as Will Ospreay. Oh, man, big kick to the arm there to Cody Rhodes, looking to work on the arm like never before and definitely is keeping up on that attack, doing what he has to do. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, hey, you can try to argue with it, but that arm is never going to be the same after this one as Will Ospreay doing what he has to do here tonight to the American Nightmare. Now tagging in Claudio Castanoli. Castanoli has been dying to get his hands on Cody Rhodes to prove to the WWE Universe that Cody Rhodes is no uh, 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 Superman, that he is the Superman, the Swiss Superman, and Claudio Castanoli. And oh, Castanoli with a big stomp down to the arm of Cody Rhodes into the cover. Is this one going to be it here? No. Kick out at one there by the American Nightmare, having a whole lot left in the tank. You, you can't argue the likes of Cody Rhodes, first ever World Heavyweight Champion, now looking to do what he has to do. But Claudio Castanoli sitting Cody Rhodes down. Will it be down for the count as, oh, look at this now, Claudio Castanoli putting the work in. Putting the work in like never before. Bear hugging Cody Rhodes and Rhodes. Rhodes finding a way out of it. Beautifully done there. Beautiful execution. And nice little sonic boom on the ears. Working away on Claudio Castanoli. Castanoli stuck in the corner now as the Swiss Superman could be in a whole hell of a lot of trouble. Cody Rhodes bringing Claudio up and back down. And once again, Claudio definitely hurting in this one. And now Yuta back in this one. Yuta and, and Cody seems like they worked out a bit of a strategy in this one as they're keeping the tags very fresh. Brain buster by Will Ospreay. And Ospreay 
Osprey, I thought he was going to get a little caught up there by the Swiss Superman as Claudio Castanoli could tell that he was in the wrong team's corner. And he, he's looking to get out of this one as Castanoli now picks up Osprey. Look at the sheer size difference in these two gentlemen. Look at the sheer athleticism, the strength being shown on display by Claudio Castanoli. This man is a goddamn juggernaut. And he's called that for a reason. You see turning his sides on Cody Rhodes. Rhodes getting slammed right down to the apron. And now Osprey looking to save his tag team partner here tonight in Cody Rhodes. But look at this. Claudio too big for both men. No. Tried to hit him with that stack up. Uranagi once again. But this time Wheeler Yuta had it well scouted. Wheeler Yuta doing exactly what he needs to do. Creating a little bit of space for himself and Claudio Castanoli, but maybe he only did that to go after Willa Yuta, and it seems like that's exactly what the case is here tonight. Osprey, oh! Osprey flipping through, dropping Willa Yuta down for a power bomb to the outside, and right as Claudio Castanoli tried to save the day, he gets clubbed down too. The Shield are not looking good in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Osprey now has Claudio Castanoli up on the shoulders. Dropping him down, making it count and making it hurt here tonight. Doing what he has to do. And now tagging in the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes once again. Thank God for that. As Cody Rhodes hasn't had much time, or at least not as much time as I originally thought he would have in this one. As Will Ospreay now bouncing Cody Rhodes right off of the ropes, but Cody goes over. Cody now trying to find himself in this one as he gets himself back inside the square circle. Osprey now staring on as Cody and Yuta going at it. And look at this now, Yuta looking to catch Cody Rhodes. Get some! The training done by the Shield is obviously, obviously in full effect here tonight, but no, kick out at one. When it comes down to Will Ospreay and, 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 and Cody Rhodes, they just have too much left in the tank early on. These are main event talent, two talent that were both in the King of the Ring and oh, Osprey, see, see that? Osprey helping, saving the day, but that is a little fun statistic to point out there. Three out of the four gentlemen competing in this match were literally just in the King of the Ring, and although not winning it, it is crazy to see how their, or how their paths have crossed, but speaking of King of the Ring, later on tonight for your main event, it is set as Adam Cole will be taking on Roman Reigns. Can the second pillar of the company knock off the Tribal Chief? Well, we're going to find out. Later tonight as Will Ospreay and Cody Rhodes hits a double shoulder tackle on the big man Claudio Castanoli. And now you can definitely tell that Will Ospreay is feeling the momentum here tonight. As look at that bouncing off the ropes. Kicking him and making sure it connects in great fashion. Now looking for a tag. Perfectly done as Cody Rhodes wants a piece of Claudio Bulldog there. Gets him there into a Bulldog. Beautifully done by Cody Rhodes and Rhodes. Rhodes and Claudio working away on each other as Claudio Castanoli tosses Rhodes right back to Will Ospreay. And now you see tagging in as Claudio Castanoli tags in Wheeler Yuta and Yuta now. Yuta and Cody, two men who are the legal men in the ring. Cody though knocking off whatever Yuta wanted to do to him there. Big slap to the face by Cody Rhodes to Wheeler Yuta as Cody now looks to want to get another tag and he gets some. Yuta doesn't know where he's at but he is about to meet his maker in the aerial assassin. But you're an Aggie. Man, oh man, the Shield training camp is definitely doing justice. As look at this now, beautiful armor stripped here by Osprey, gaining momentum as he ducks down low. Oh, hidden blade by Will Osprey. No, Claudio Castanoli. I'm not gonna lie, that was smart. That was very, very smart. Cause the hidden blade. Look to be all she wrote, but oh my god, crunching him into a suplex. Down goes Yuta, all oh, once again. A lariat and made sure he followed through. And look at that now. Catching him and sliding him. Look at that. Will or Yuta giving Will Ospreay a run for his money. Is that something that you ever thought you'd say you hear here in Universe Mode history? As Will Ospreay since joining. Since joining Universe Mode, back at Clash of Champions, joining the Shield. He has just been making uh, headways, ladies and gentlemen, going through so many trials and tribulations, then being with the Shield. And now look at this, into the cover is Will Ospreay going to be pinned here by the young gun Yuta? No. 
Imagine what that can do for the career of Wheeler Yuta if he was able to pin Will Ospreay or Cody Rhodes here tonight. The, the uprise of the career of Wheeler Yuta. I look at this now. Yuta catches him. Up and down he goes. Double clip. One, two, no. Yuta almost did it. Yuta almost did it. Yuta would have been the one guy here in universe mode in a short list of men to say they have pinned Will Ospreay. As look at this now, Yuta lining up Claudio. Looks like he wants to slingshot the Superman. Living up to the name because you can't have a Superman that can't fly. Cody's tagged in. Cody's tagged in. Wait a minute. He doesn't realize. Crossroads. Crossroads. One, two, no. Yuta saves the day. Yuta, what? I'm going to break that down. Will Ospreay just got a desperation tag in to Cody Rhodes. I don't think Claudio Castanoli realized the tag was in desperation. And with nothing else in the arsenal, Cody Rhodes decided to hit a crossroads. And still, even with that, at no avail. I mean, come on. And now, even now. Even now seeing Claudio Castanoli perfectly fine. And now seeing Castanoli be the one to take down the shield. Even if it's in a minor uh, uh, way, it's just surprising to see. But illegal men back in the ring now. It is. It is. Oh! Will or you to just hit a punt on Cody Rhodes? Rhodes is out like a light. And now Yuta wants to make Rhodes tap. Will or Yuta, he's going to do it. No! Will Ospreay ran in the ring there. Cody said, no, I got it. And he definitely did. As look at this now, Cody's going to hit him with a figure four. As we are going to go on commercial break. We'll be right back. Right after Coming this. up later tonight, the two women who will be in the triple threat match for the Continental Women's Championship will battle it out for momentum. Who is going to walk away winner as Katana Chance goes one-on-one -on -one with Liv Morgan. Comment your comment down below. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial break. Right off the commercial break, Claudio Castanoli hitting a neutralizer on Cody Rhodes. Will this be the beginning of the end? But no, even with Osprey coming in the fray, Cody still finding a way to kick out. And a chant of tag team wrestling heard around the world as, you know, these, these men, these four men, the work that they are putting on. The things that they have done. And look at that now. Cody getting a desperation tag. Will Ospreay the same way Ospreay got the tag to him. But look at this. Caught up out of nowhere. Yuta looking to put the young Ospreay out. As now turning his attention to the American Nightmare. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, later tonight, Katana Chance will be going one-on-one -on -one with Liv Morgan. As that will be your women's action for the evening. And as it is set to be damn, damn good. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! Osprey screaming to the world, but I don't think he just realized what the hell just happened to Cody Rhodes. He just stuck up the middle fingers to Will or Yuta. He knows exactly what he's doing. Big bicycle kick moved out of the way, though. And oh, big punch to the face there by Will or Yuta. Stepping up like never before, now pulling back on that neck. But it seems like Osprey's foot might be near that rope. I don't think the referee sees what's going on. Cody Rhodes looking like he wants to intervene, and exactly that he does. But Claudio Castanoli steps into the fray, and now these two men. Oh, God, Claudio Castanoli and, 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 and Cody Rhodes. This one's breaking down on the outside, but meanwhile, while it is, oh. Well, look at this. Oh, man, beautiful work there. And, uh, oh, my God, Claudio taking down Cody. Wait, what the hell is, what the hell is Yuta doing? Curb! Stop! Yuta just hit a curb stop, my bugging. Yuta just hit a goddamn curb stop. Oh, my God, Will Ospreay's up to his feet, and oh, Seth Rollins out here tonight, showing that the Shield is as strong as ever, doing what he has to do in the name of justice for the Hounds of Justice, as this, this, we need this again. Osprey and Rhodes staring a hole in each other. Will or Yuta pissed off that he's not focusing on him. And meanwhile, on the other side, look at this. Oh, Claudio Castanoli and Cody Rhodes bringing this one to the outside. As this one's definitely got personal between these two gentlemen. Very, very short-sighted. Cody said, long story short, to Will Ospreay, I will have your back. And that is exactly what he is doing here tonight. Having his back. 
as Cody Rhodes going to the, you know, going to war with the shield in the name of Will Ospreay. And oh, Cody, Cody going down and going down hard. And look at this now, Claudio Castanoli, top of that briefcase and crashing down. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. Claudio wants a chair and oh my God. Claudio hitting Cody Rhodes with a chair, but the referee, the referee can't see past this point. And these two men aren't the legal men, so the referee doesn't know what the hell is going on. This one should be a disqualification. And oh my God. Wheeler Yuta, Wheeler Yuta using the distraction by Seth Rollins to his advantage. Now Wheeler Yuta, what does he have in mind? Dropping Osprey down, down goes Osprey. Underhook, brain buster, and Wheeler Yuta, Wheeler Yuta might be the new ultimate opportunist because Wheeler Yuta took advantage in the distractions going down all over the ring here tonight. Wheeler Yuta proving to each and every single individual here tonight that the momentum of the Shield has gone absolutely nowhere and Seth Rollins walking away conflicted. Claudio Castanoli meeting up with his tag team partner but ladies and gentlemen coming up next it is women's action as Liv Morgan is going to be going one on one with the other woman who is going to be in the triple threat match for the next Sunday's pay per view. Unforgiven for the Continental Women's Championship. It's Katana Chance. Let's see how this one goes. Hunger is what a true WWE superstar, a true wrestler feels when he is at his lowest point. That hunger is what keeps me going. That hunger is what keeps the drive within me going each and every single day of the week when I work out in the gym, when I go home and I think about what's next. I think about the WWE Championship and no matter who it's going to be, Adam Cole, Roman Reigns, I seen the both of you last week. Although you may come off very intimidating, you are not. And you're going to kill each other wrestling and it's going to be damn fun watching. But the end result is going to be the same. CM Punk is going to stare over you, holding the WWE Championship, making history and becoming Raw's first ever exclusive champion because I am CM Punk. I am the best in the world. I am the voice of the voiceless. And there is only one man... Only one man standing in my way from greatness. Who would that man be? <laughs> I guess we'll find out tonight. What the hell is going on back here? Well, hey, well, if y'all don't want the TV time, I'll take it. Somebody hit my music. Uh oh, well, this is actually happening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was not confirmed for tonight. This was not a segment. This was not supposed to be a thing. But your intercontinental champion is here. He is the megastar. He is the man with a gravy train who took a bit of a stop. But it seems like the caboose is going to keep going. And his name is L. A Knight! Alright, he is here. I don't know why, but last week LA Knight did the unthinkable. Alright, last week LA Knight had one hell of a matchup. Alright, when I say one hell of a matchup, I mean one hell of a matchup with CM Punk. LA Knight and CM Punk, absolute dream match material, and that it was what it was. It was a goddamn dream match, and what a match it was, as LA Knight proved to the entire world that he can hang with the best, although not winning that match doing exactly that proving that he can hang with some of the best that raw has to offer and when going against cm punk what well, doesn't get any better than that yeah yeah let me talk to you yeah. i know everybody expects la night to be down in the dumps but the fact still remains i hold the championship gold around my waist and if you ask me i've done a whole hell of a lot more with it in four weeks than adam cole did with it in almost a year I have excelled not only my craft, but I have brought the Intercontinental Championship to heights that I am already, already just starting to begin with. 
when it comes down to Raw, you're not going to be looking for the WWE Champion. You are going to be looking for the Intercontinental Champion. You are going to be looking for LA Knight. And we are going to stay on the forefront of all of this. Trust me when I say the gravy train does not stop. No, no, it does not stop because we... We have waited too damn long for a rise, and I, I will be damned if I sit here and let one loss define my career. Me and CM Punk put on one hell of a banger. One hell of a banger, and on my way out here, here tonight, me and him pass by each other, and I let him know the respect is earned. When you look at LA Knight, you will always know that he respects CM Punk. Now, you see, I doubted Punk. I doubted Punk because I thought Punk was an old dog. I thought Punk didn't have that fight left in him. But you see that doubt right there is what cost me last week. That doubt right there is doubt that CM Punk nor any other superstar will ever see in the ring. Because LA Knight doesn't truly lose. I always turn my losses into learning. And I take those learning and I turn them into lessons. So take this as a learning lesson. What you've been seeing from LA Knight is good. It's alright. First roll after the pay-per-view, it's going to be that much better because I want anybody and I mean I don't give a damn if you're on Raw. I don't give a damn if you're not even in the WWE. If you want a shot at LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship, then you rise up. But trust me and trust me when I say this alone because a good friend once said this and I have no problem repeating it because it fits the situation all too well. If you come for the king, you best not miss. And next Monday, whoever answers the challenge, they best not miss. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, next week it was promised and it will be delivered to Goliath stepping into the ring. It's Meat Madness time and it's going to be Bobby Lashley going one-on-one -on -one with the newcomer and Braun Breaker. Will Breaker get revenge on Lashley successfully or will the Hurt Business have tricks up their sleeve? Well, the Hurt Business are banned from ringside, so we will find out in next week's go-home show, but that is not all confirmed for next week's show. It'll be the two men that were brawling on the outside during the tag match who have some unfinished business that is going to be closed. Claudio Castanoli going one-on-one -on -one with the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. And ladies and gentlemen, if you thought that was it for next week, it's not. But that's it for the previews tonight. And we are getting into it. It's main event time. Semi-finals. The final semi-finals match right here on Raw as the King of the Ring has been absolutely fantastic. And it comes to an end right here tonight when Adam Cole goes one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns. Both men are ready. They're ready to go. And we're going to get it. But we do have some breaking news. And it'll be that Liv Morgan will be going one-on-one -on -one with the Oscar now for the Continental Women's Championship as we are looking to crown the championship and Katana Chance is now out with injury due to the attack by Liv Morgan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you all will please rise with me as I can officially say it's time for your main event! Your tribal chief put the ones in the sky for the head of the table, Roman Reigns. You want to talk about Roman Reigns? Then now's the best time to do it. Last year. Roman Reigns lost the King of the Ring in his first round one match against Shinsuke Nakamura. Roman Reigns then went on to battle in a long and grueling war with the Shield. And although the Shield and the Bloodline will go down in the history books as one of the best stories that have ever been told in Universe Mode history, the fact of the matter remains true. And that is on some level, Roman Reigns has grounded himself through all of the tribalism, through all of the hate, through all of the roadblocks. Roman Reigns has did the unthinkable. And he has put himself in a position where he is truly untouchable. When it comes down to Roman Reigns, when it comes down to everything that Roman Reigns has stands for here in Universe Mode. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
You can't talk about it without mentioning Adam Cole. Cole is the kind of guy that goes to war. Same as Roman Reigns. Cole is the guy that won championships. Unlike Roman Reigns. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This one ain't gonna be as clear cut as some of you may think. A lot of people, I've been seeing a lot of ones in the sky for the tribal chief Roman Reigns. But don't forget about this man. Do not sleep on this man. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Adam Cole, baby! And I wanna point out a fun statistic for you guys. Adam Cole made his debut in universe mode May 13th, 2023. Meaning that Unforgiven is on May 12th. Now how poetic would it be for Adam Cole if he was to win the championship and bring it to Raw one year exactly to when he first arrived on the scene here in universe mode. You wanna talk about a full circle moment? That, that is a full circle moment. But if Adam Cole does it tonight, if Adam Cole gets the job done against Roman Reigns, well ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, aren't we in for a treat in San Juan, Puerto Rico? Because it's gonna have Ring of Honor fills written all over it if Adam Cole goes one on one with CM Punk. But on the other hand, you have another dream match in the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns going one on one with CM Punk. Listen, this is going down and it's going down right now. We're wasting absolutely no time. And look at this one now. It was Roman taking it? Taking control of this one the early on here bringing Adam Cole right into the corner beautifully done there by the tribal chief Roman Reigns As people still feel like the best match inside the king of the ring tournament Which I am NOT here to take anything away from it was Roman Reigns versus Claudio Castanoli And you see the great things that Castanoli is still doing picking up a win earlier tonight I wonder if the same case can be rung out for the guy who beat Claudio Roman Reigns. I mean Listen, you talk about Raw, you talk about Universe Mode, things have been shaken up, especially with the draft recently, and now looking for that new World Heavyweight, or excuse me, that new WWE Champion, you know, we're, we're, we're still piecing the, the, the puzzle pieces together here in Universe Mode, but trust me, things are definitely getting put, in, put together as Adam Cole now clobbing down on Roman Reigns, looking to turn this one around a bit as the crowd here tonight is absolutely ecstatic for it, and I'm ecstatic for it myself as next week will be the Raw Go Home Show. One of these men will be meeting CM Punk in the main event of Raw for the contract signing to sign that contract on the dotted line and make it official for the WWE Championship. Who will it be? Well, this one's still early on, but look at this now. It's Roman Reigns getting kicked down with a psycho knee by Adam Cole. And man, oh man, it seems like Cole has been watching his Brian Danielson clips. As we haven't even seen that man back in in-ring action yet. He's still injured. And oh, wait a minute. Look at... Oh, my God. Adam Cole pulling out the indie moves here tonight. Top rope goes Cole. And a... Oh, knee drop from the top rope. Into the cover. Two and no. Roman Reigns kicking out and doing what he has to do. You can't blame him. But at the same time, the same question can be asked. How close... Is Jacob Fatu? How close is Paul Heyman tonight? How close are the Usos tonight? We haven't seen the Usos here tonight. We haven't seen Jacob Fatu tonight. So it's going to be very interesting to see what goes down with that leading into Unforgiven as we, after this show, have one more show leading up to the Unforgiven pay per view. As look at that now. Adam Cole, beautiful work there and making sure it all counts. Not only making sure it counts, making sure his moves stick here tonight, making sure they hurt. That right there is not something that we usually see from Adam Cole. Everything about him is usually very swift. Everything about his presentation in the ring is usually very cocky. But tonight he is a lot more focused, laser focused, as Roman Reigns tries to go for a running neck breaker there, but missed out. Adam Cole too well scouted, as he seems like he has Roman Reigns. And listen, you want to talk about only a year of Adam Cole? We've only gotten a two, what, two years, a year and some change of Roman Reigns, and uh, along with the other superstars here in Universe Mode. The tapes are there for them to watch as Cole! Through the ropes and Reigns moves out of the way. 
As like I was saying, you know, the tapes are definitely there when it comes down to Roman Reigns and Adam Cole. Both men have wrestled in countless amount of matches. You want to go back and look at the Roman Reigns, Shinsuke Nakamura match from this past December. Absolutely banger match. You want to talk about the Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley match leading into the No Way Out pay-per-view. Another amazing match. On the Adam Cole side, you have Cole versus Swerve Strickland back in No Mercy. You have every match that Adam Cole and Austin Theory did. And oh, man. And don't get me started on the amount of matches that we've seen from Adam Cole in LA Night. Nothing but banger after banger after banger. And you've seen that time, the second time, the tope, he made it count. As he is now going in on the Tribal Chief. And this is, might be exactly what Adam Cole needs. A little bit of space, a little bit of separation. As Adam Cole looking to take this win the same way Finn Balor took his win in the semifinals last year at the King of the Ring. By beating Shinsuke Nakamura with a count out. But this time, no, 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 this time. It is all or nothing this time. As he is not playing any games. And oh man, knocking him down. Beautiful work there as he goes. And Roman Reigns definitely having to think twice about this one as the Tribal Chief. The Tribal Chief showing off to the crowd. This might not be smart. Adam Cole isn't that hurt, Roman. You might want to be careful, but I might eat my words as well as Roman Reigns having Adam Cole perfectly scouted in this one here tonight. And now looking to bring him into the ropes. Beautifully done. Perfectly done there by Roman Reigns. And Reigns now looking to use, use all of that rope to his advantage as the referee is trying to get a little bit of leniency here tonight as this is the final match here in the King of the Ring, at least for the Raw side of things. After this one, we go right into the finals in the main event of Unforgiven San Juan, Puerto Rico. As insane and as intense as the King of the Ring has been. All great things must come to an end. And as Roman Reigns going outside the ring to catch his breath for a second, now back in the ring doing everything that he can do in this one, making it count. And look at this now, Irish Whip bouncing him off of the ropes, popping him up, Samoan drop. You want to talk about the wins of Roman Reigns' career? I mean, come on, we could talk about him, but can he get it done? No, kick out at one off a of Samoan drop? Wow. I was definitely not expecting that one, but oh man, Roman Reigns now. Grabbing Cole's head and just spiking it into the mat over and over and over again. As well as announced on Twitter, the entire matchup here tonight for your main event will be commercial free. It is going to be all action here tonight as we want to thank you guys for supporting the King of the Ring as much as you guys have been. If you haven't done so so far for this episode of Raw, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. Adam Cole looking to turn this one around on the Tribal Chief. Super kick on the button. Oh! Suplex in the back of his neck right into the turnbuckle. No. Still a kick out. Cole now lining up Reigns for what could be his very last shot. Into the gun. What? Roman got the ropes. Roman got the ropes in the nick of time and now Adam Cole is trying to take advantage and stay on the attack and you can't blame him off the ropes frog splash heard around the world into the cover now once again Roman fights but Adam Cole feels confident at what he is seeing right here tonight and you can't blame him bouncing off another last shot no Roman says no Roman says no for the last shot he kicks him right in the chest or right in the stomach area it was as Roman Reigns looking to take control of this one looking to take completed control of this one Irish whipping him right off the ropes tilt the world slam oh my god beautifully done and now Roman running up on Adam Cole Cole tangling on himself I got a little tangled up saying that one. Tangling himself up with Roman Reigns purposely as Roman seems like he wants to go for a desperation spear in this one. And now Adam Cole and Roman Reigns firing away at on all cylinders. All cylinders indeed. And wait a minute. Roman with a pop-up upper or excuse me a pop-up clothesline there and now Roman Reigns calling for the gods here as look at that running once again wanted a Superman punch but he couldn't get all of it as Adam Cole wasn't wasn't you know scouted the way he needed to be Cole now the psycho one two no 
What the hell are we seeing here tonight? Two men going at it, showing, proving that they want it all here tonight. They want it all. Roman firing back, but so is Cole. And now Roman, both men not having enough left in the tank to do anything but desperation blows and desperation strikes. As Roman now bouncing off the rope, collecting some momentum, beautifully done. I've never seen somebody do this in universe mode history. Beautifully done by Roman. Tangled up once again. Adam Cole now looking to do another last shot, but Roman hitting him with a headbutt. And if there's one thing I've learned in professional wrestling is you do not try to go head to head, quite literally, with a Samoan. And now look at this. Roman Reigns staying on the attack. Staying on the attack, dominating, doing what he has to do here tonight in this main event bout. As these two men are absolutely beaten out of everything that they have done throughout this King of the Ring tournament. And tonight, tonight they just want to do whatever they can do to walk away with the victory. As now Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns lining up Adam Cole for what could be the beginning of his end here tonight. Oh man, oh man, Roman's saying I'm putting his ass to sleep, Roman says he wants to put his ass quite literally to sleep, Roman Reigns has the guillotine locked in on Adam Cole, nowhere for Cole to go, nothing for Cole to do, what the hell are we about to see, no, Cole gets out, Cole fights out, moves out of the way, Roman though says what the hell is going on, Cole now goes for another last shot but no, Want to hit him with a last shot while Roman was barely getting up to the knee. Roman kicking him right in the back. Running to the... Quite literally running. And wait a minute. Lining him up. No way. Spear. Can Roman do it? In the main event of Raw. Yes, he does. So many trials. So many trials. And after a year of so many ups, and quite literally, so many downs, Roman Reigns books his ticket to San Juan. Roman Reigns books his ticket to Unforgiven. Wow, wow. Wow, I am at a complete loss of words, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content on the channel as more content is coming you guys' way. May 12th, mark your calendar because it'll be the Tribal Chief versus the best in the world. It is a dream match on so many different levels and it is going down for our WWE Championship. And I thank God I have the great honor and privilege of commentating this one because I'm bringing my A-game, and I know you guys are bringing yours. Ladies and gentlemen, two weeks' time. This is your main event. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more because the next time that I will see you is Friday night when we go live for Mayhem.